Do you still need to pay a buyer's agent commission? That's a hot topic, isn't it? Well, if you haven't heard what's going on, recently there's a lawsuit that challenged how the buyer's agent got paid. Traditionally, what happened is the listing agent agrees on a commission structure up front with the seller, and then they put on the MLS how much commission is being offered out to a buyer's agent. A court recently ruled that the way that it was structured before is no longer legal and that moving forward, no commissions will be allowed to be posted on the MLS. So the question that a lot of sellers are having is, if it's negotiable, should I still pay a buyer's agent? And I've got three reasons why I think you should still pay a buyer's agent. Number one, even though commissions have always been negotiable, right now, a lot of sellers are thinking, well, maybe I shouldn't pay the commission at all. Here's what we're gonna do though. As a seller, I would still recommend paying the commission. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna set that rate up front. You're gonna discuss with your agent what you feel comfortable paying a buyer's agent. And then you're gonna let your agent let buyer's agents know who are gonna be showing the property. Going forward, buyer's agents are likely gonna call the listing agent and say, hey, you know, my buyer's pre-approved, this is what we're looking at. Um, what's the compensation rate? Because as the seller, if you aren't offering out some form of compensation, then the buyer's agent is gonna to have to get that from their client. Now, the buyers are coming up with their down payment and their closing costs, and coming up with a commission on top of that is gonna be a lot of cash out of pocket. So in order to not deter a lot of buyers from looking at your property simply because they can't afford to pay their own agent, I would highly recommend just setting that rate up front, whatever it may be, and letting those potential buyer's agents know that you are offering out compensation, and here's what it is. Number two. Well, you're gonna offer out compensation, but how much compensation? And I'm gonna say that depends. It depends on the area that you're in. I would offer kind of what everyone else is offering. If you want your listing to stand out, I would maybe offer a little bit more than the competition because what's gonna entice the buyer's agents to show the property and maybe entice a buyer to make an offer on your property versus another one is maybe they agreed to pay their agent 3% total, just for numbers sake and maybe you're offering out two and a half percent. So that buyer is still gonna have to come up with that 0.5% so that their agent gets fully compensated. Whereas if another house is offering out a 3% compensation and the buyer doesn't have to come up with that half percentage out of pocket, they'll be looking at both houses and saying, we like both of them pretty much the same. Oh, well this one we have less out of pocket. Obviously they're gonna choose that one. The third thing I want to hit on is that if you don't offer out any compensation to the buyer's agent, it's going to put the buyer in a really sticky predicament. They might not have enough cash to bring to closing to be able to purchase your home, come up with a down payment and the closing costs and their agent's commission. And so what you might see if you're not offering out compensation is you might see buyers passing over your house altogether because they simply can't afford to come up with all those different amounts at closing. Um, or you might see them asking for more to go towards their closing costs so that they can use the money they would have used for closing costs to pay their agent. I know that this topic can be really confusing and it's pretty broad and there are a lot of specific questions that you might have that I wasn't able to answer in this video. So as always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me via text, email, phone call, and I would be happy to discuss what I know about it and any information that I have, I would be happy to provide to you.